क्वेश्चन टू ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज सेज द कोच ऑफ अ क्रिकेट टीम बायज थ्री बैट्स एंड सिक्स बॉल्स फॉर थर्टी नाइन हंड्रेड रुपीज लेटर शी बायज अनदर बैट एंड टू मोर बॉल्स ऑफ द सेम काइंड फॉर थर्टीन हंड्रेड रुपीज रिप्रेजेंट दिस सिचुएशन एल्जेब्रिकली एंड जियोमेट्रिकली सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिमिलर टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज there are two unknowns or variables in this situation and they are the cost of the bat the cost of one bat and the cost of one ball so let's assume that the cost of one bat is rupees x and the cost of one ball is rupees y so x and y are the two variables or the two unknowns in this question now let's read the problem statement carefully and convert the given information into linear equations in x and y okay so here's the first piece of information we have the coach buys three bats and six balls for rupees 3900 now three bats will cost 3x rupees because one bat costs x rupees so three bats will cost 3x rupees and similarly six balls will cost 6y rupees and the sum of these costs should be equal to 3900 so we get our first equation as 3x plus 6y equal to 3900 now the second piece of information says she buys another bat and two more balls of the same kind for rupees 1300 so another bat will cost x rupees and two more balls will cost 2y rupees and the sum of these costs should be 1300 so we get our second equation as x plus 2y equal to 1300 so the given situation can be modeled as this pair of linear equations the first one is 3x plus 6y equal to 3900 if you want you can bring the 3900 to the left and write the equation as 3x plus 6y minus 3900 equal to 0 and similarly the second equation is x plus 2y equal to 1300 or if you bring 1300 to the left you can write this as x plus 2y minus 1300 equal to 0 so this pair of equations is the algebraic representation of the given situation now let's plot the two equations to represent the given situation graphically so here's our axis with the horizontal axis representing x which is the cost of one bat and the vertical axis representing y which is the cost of one ball i'm using a scale of 1 unit representing 100 rupees on both the axes because this will make the lines easier to plot now let's go to the two equations and for each of them find two points which will lie on the um which will satisfy the two equations so the two equations are 3x plus 6y equal to 3900 and x plus 2y equal to 1300 So let's first plot the first equation which is 3x plus 6y equal to 3900. So let's find out two solutions of this equation. So I'm drawing this xy table here and we will take two values of x and correspondingly find the values of y. So let's take values of x and y which are easier easy to plot on our graph. So if I take x equal to 300 So let's see what happens. If I substitute x equal to 300 in the first equation, I get 3x or 900 plus 6y equal to 3900, and this gives 6y equal to 3000 or y equal to 500. So corresponding to x equal to 300, y is equal to 500. So 300 comma 500 will be one solution of this first equation. Now let's take another value of x. Let me take x equal to 900, and let's see what I get. So I get 3x, which is 2700, plus 6y equal to 
and this time this gives me y equal to um, 200 so corresponding to x equal to 900 y is equal to 200 so 900 comma 200 is another solution for the first equation now using these two solutions let's plot the line solution line for the first equation so here's our graph we got one solution as 300 comma 500 which is this point here 300 comma 500 and we got another solution as 900 comma 200 which is this point here so 900 comma 200 now let's draw a line through these two points like roughly like this so this line represents the first equation which is 3x plus 6y equal to 3900 now let's go back to the equations and now let's look at the second equation and find out two solutions for the second equation x plus 2y equal to 1300 so once again let's draw an xy table and take two values of x and find the corresponding values of y so if i take x equal to 100 what do i get i get 100 plus 2y equal to 1300 which gives me y equal to 600 so corresponding to x equal to 100 y is equal to 600 in the second equation so 100 comma 600 is one solution of this equation now let's take x equal to 500 so what do we get as y so we have x plus 2y or 500 plus 2y equal to 1300 and this gives me y equal to 400 so corresponding to x equal to 500 y is equal to 400 in the second equation so two solutions for the second equation are 100 comma 600 and 500 comma 400 now let's plot these two points and then draw the line through them so the two solutions we got are 100 comma 600 so 100 comma 600 is this point here and the other solution we got was 500 comma 400 which is this point here 500 comma 400 so interestingly both these solutions lie on the first line which means that if i draw the second line it will be exactly identical to the first line so in this case the two linear equations are such that their lines are identical so the geometrical representation or the graphical representation of this given situation is this pair of identical lines that we have drawn okay with that question two is done to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.